Hello, I'm a developer at EQ. My name is Kanal, and today I'm going to show you how to create a bill of material reports using EQ BI 7.0. For today's report, we're going to be using Team Center for our data. Now, a bill of materials doesn't exist as an object in Team Center. Instead, it's a complex collection of objects and relations that uh, are arranged in a hierarchy, and this complexity can be quite frustrating for any end user. However, thanks to BI's semantic layer, we are able to abstract away a lot of the complexity of dealing with native systems by mapping low-level objects to semantic concepts. And for our bill of materials, we can do just that. We can map all of the TC a bill of materials objects and relations to a single semantic concept called the bill of materials. And for you, this means that you don't need to know what a bill of materials is in a native system in order to use it in a report. Additionally, this gives us the added benefit of being able to reuse semantic concepts like bill of materials across different native systems since our semantic layer is not dependent on the native system. So without further ado, let's get right into creating the report. <clears throat> the cube creation process is as simple as ever. We're just going to follow the cube creation wizard. We're going to pick a cube name and as I mentioned before, we're going to pick our connection as team center. For our source, we're going to give it a name as bomb node, and we're going to search for bomb. Here we're going to pick from any bill of materials we want. Right now, we're going to select an engineering bill of materials. All of this looks good. So let's go ahead and select a few filters. As you can see, the system has picked up the filters we marked and we're now able to provide some sort of data value for it. This is going to serve us two purposes. One, it's going to be able to customize our report to see only the data we want to, as well as limit the amount of data we get from the report. Let's get rid of that chart widget since we don't need it right now. All right, and there we have our data in hierarchical format. Let's collapse a few nodes just to see how it looks. As you can see, we have our top node a level 2 node and a level 3 node. Going over to the mapper, we see that we have a single object. This is our semantic concept of a bomb. Now if we transform this, we can see some, the complex definition that we got from Team Setter. And there you go. It's just that simple. Thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you next time.